Theatre Phonic presents The Sentence. Written by Martin Lytton. Why do I I use my my paper, ink, ink, and and pen, and and call call my wits to counsel what to say? Such memories were made for mortal men. I speak of saints whose names cannot decay. An angel's trump were fitter for to sound their glorious death if such an earth were found. His Majesty commands that in this year of grace, 1538, one book of the Bible, of the largest volume, in English, be set up in some convenient place within the church, where your parishioners may read it. It's here, Father. Our village, our church, our book. Seventeen years ago, I would have died just for reading this. In the beginning was the Word, and the darkness comprehended it not. And the Word, the Word became a sentence. Seventeen years. If you had only waited. John Scrivener, this court finds that you freely admit to translating the Bible into the base and heretical language of English, this being expressly forbidden by Holy Mother Church and the King's person. Having not recanted, abjured, or denied this crime, it is the sentence of this court that you be given to the fire and suffer death by burning. It is also decreed that your daughter, your daughter... That your daughter, Joan, as a display of her detestation of your sin, and in the love of our Saviour Jesus Christ and our Sovereign Lord Henry, be required that she herself should... that she herself should light the flame which will extinguish your existence upon this earth. Amen. Amen. was silence, the closed mouth, but, but, but that mouth open, and the world spoke a single language, one unified monoglot, and man created Babel. The, 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 the tower of speaking, the, the, the castle of voices, the stronghold, or, or we shall be dispersed, scattered, disunified, and anything they had a mind to do was not beyond them. But God saw and feared the unity, feared the power and the will, feared it. Why? Why? And so he scattered them over the earth, confused their speech, babble, ignorance, fright, fright. And so it went down all the ages. And there came a man, uh, as if crying alone in the wilderness, and he said, make straight those words again, make straight, understand, plain, make, make smooth and, and guileless as the speech of children. Teach them to be one again. It, it should be as children to their father, as, as, as father, as father to his child. Father? 
Joan, my child, my child, I, I didn't dare hope, I, I feared. Don't say it. Don't say it. All saying's what I have left. You could. No. There is still time. There has never been time. No. I'm glad they let you come. They didn't let me. <sighs> One last attempt. Abjur, father, relent. No, it's too unbearable. No child should have to ask her father not to kill himself. Joan. All this, all this, for what you think? And I, they... You must, you must. I know what they have, what they will make you do, and you must. Is that what you have taught me? Is this the lesson? Part of it. Perhaps. We always knew. You knew. You knew. I am... was... My child. I cannot. You must. You must. And your heart shall be flint and my soul the tinder. Think. Child, think. All my thoughts are ash. Like the hearth in the morning. When you were a child, your your mother rose as, as the dawn was seeping between the barns and the river. Not gone nights, not arrived day, ash and turf, and dew upon the eaves. She she pulls off the covering, she leans over and she blows, and she just The house fills with warmth and flavour and breakfast and comfort. It fills. <laughs> yes, it does. And that morning fire calls us, doesn't it? To daybreak, to to quietness and labor and, and, and food and the coming noon and the pause of evening and the hallowedness of sleep. That is how it will be. That is how you must think. I d it is their ceiling. They aim to wither you from inside. They, they think the flames will devour you. Think! It is all thought. It is always all thought. Heat is not. It is the dream of trees. The oak and the beech growing in the forest. Feet in earth reaching towards the sun. Along comes the woodsman. Lops off the branch. Throws it on the fire. What does it become? All that wild red locked in the heart of the green, waiting to be released, becoming for an instant the thing it has striven towards for so long. It is a miraculous thing. I have prayed for a miracle. Do you think I have not? Perhaps this is it now. Us, together speaking, a our words are the miracle. Your words are the curse. <sighs> well, if you think that, then this... All this, if you really think... <sighs> Joan... I think I can bear anything but that. And what must I bear for you? Not for me. Through you, then. By you. Of you. It is theirs. It is yours and theirs. Together. Do you think it is mine? Would I have chosen this? Did I ever? You loved. The books. The lessons. I did. Brightly and blazingly and consumingly. You gave me that. And now you give me this. I don't want it. Come home. To the hearth. No. No, then. Refusal. Denial. No. A tiny little word and a whole world ends. Yes. 
Oh. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Word. Word. Good. Excellent. Word. What is that? Word. Yes. What does it mean? What is it? What does it say to you? Um, sheep. <laughs> what? No. Why? Like lambs, when they're born, they grow up to be sheep, and we use them for all sorts of things. And they're shorn, and we use the wool for um, blankets and hats and clothes. And then the wool grows back, and we shear them again, and more things, different things. <laughs> You really are my daughter. Of course I am. No,、uh, I meant. <laughs> That's very good, Joan. Very good. You see? Now, here's another one. Good. The air, the arm, the air, the air bomb. Joan. I don't know then. Verbum. <laughs> Joan. Well, it's silly. What is it anyway? It's word. I know it's a word, a silly word. But what is it? It's word. That's what it is. No, it's not. It is, but in another language, not English like we speak. Not everyone speaks like we do. Like Alice Baker's wife, he am so mithered. Joan, no. Well, no, not really. That's because she's from Yorkshire. That's in the north of England. But it's still English, isn't it? Well, sort of. She's nice. She's sort of flowery and doughy and bready. <laughs> yes. She is, isn't she? And when she gives me a hug, it's like being inside a loaf. Is it? Well, I wouldn't know. It's silly that grown-ups don't hug. I hug your mother. That's different. Yes, it is, and that's why I hug her, not Alice. But we're getting away. I like it when we get away. <laughs> well, yes, so do I. We start somewhere, going someplace, and end up differently.、Uh, we do. And it's what we find along the way. Like when I found the adder skin last week. Well, yes. And you wouldn't let me take you home.、Uh, well, your mother wouldn't have liked it. Besides, snakes are. It wasn't a snake. Only a skin. <sighs> it was part of the snake, though. Once, wasn't it? Suppose. If you wouldn't take a snake into the house, why would you take the skin? Do you see? <sighs> Suppose. Today we are finding words. Words in the wood. Well, they grow. Oh, wouldn't that be fun if you could write words in the earth like like this, and then they grow and grow, and we come back next year, and there'd be little word trees growing. <laughs> words can grow, Joan. Words do grow. Really? Not like you mean. Not on plants, but in other ways. Yes, they do. They connect people. I ideas. They grow. They they grow strong. Connect.、Uh, join. Touch. Like threads in the tapestry in the church. Lots and lots of threads. That make a huge picture. Exactly. Connect. <gasps> Do another word. One that I know. <laughs> If I give you one that you know, how will you learn? Oh, all right. All right. Oh, all right. Here's one, a big one, an immense one. Immense. Big, huge, enormous. That's not big, g or d. God. And is that not big, Joan? I suppose. But it's an easy word. Well, easy words are not always easy ideas, are they? I suppose. Sometimes the simplest thing is the hardest of all. Are they? Sometimes. One more word. 
Only one? I want to learn forever. I shall not abjure. Don't ask me again. Ask. I beg. I entreat. I implore. I need your strength. Not your pleading. I'd rather give you my weakness. You are not weak. I am. In this. This is no longer some game in a clearing. They have come with axes and chopped the word tree down. But its roots remain. To what use? When did you ever see a felled tree grow again? They rot. Other things grow in the mould, but they rot. Words don't rot. No. But they can cause decay. Putrefaction. Death. Thomas Bernard. James Morden. Thomas Holmes. They were good people. And they are dead. And their children mourn. John Crane and Robert Brody abjured and sit tonight with their families. Uh -huh. Is that worth so little to you? Am I? You want me to do this terrible thing tomorrow? Not me. Them. Could you stop it happening? Could you? Yes. And therefore you bear some of the burden. But nowhere near the weight of the burden you have placed on me. We must go now. We need to help your mother. I know, but... All right. One more. Ready? Here it is. Deus. Deus? Deus. I don't know that one either. It's not fair. I don't know them. <laughs> Do you know... Joan, there's a lot of people think that. Really? Yes, but we'll talk about that another time. Oh, can't we... Another time. Promise. Now, I want you to think about this word, deus. You have heard it before. I haven't. You have. Lots of times. Think. Mm. I don't know. I haven't. I'll give you a clue. What do we do on Sundays? Sundays? Go to church. <laughs> That's right. What's that got to do with... Well, think after. Church? Church. Think about Father Gregory, what he says. He doesn't say anything. Not properly. He just sort of sings. It's Latin. Another language, like we said, like Yorkshire, but, but not even English. A whole other language. Deus, Deus, Deus. Now you've learned it. Listen out for it tomorrow. You'll hear it. That's another language. Latin, yes. All of it. All of what he sings is words in another language. Yes. Why didn't you say before? Well, you were small, Joan. You could have told me... All this time I've been thinking... What did you think it was? I don't know. Well, sort of, like... I thought it was like what Sad Tom says when he sits on his chair in the lane. Well, uh, I suppose there are some who say that Tom has been touched by God. We must be kind to Tom, mustn't we? I know. Mam says I am. I know you are. What does it mean, then? What? D... Deus? Deus. It means God. G -o -d. God. <laughs> That's right. So, all the stuff he sings, all the stuff he says, that's... La La Latin. Latin, too. All of it. All of it. Words growing on another tree. That's right. Good, Joe. And you know those words, all of them? I do. Can I learn it? <laughs> you can. You are clever. 
Does Mum know them? She does. She's clever too. Yes, she is. She can skip stones right over the river. Six, seven, over. Can she? She's going to teach me. <laughs> well, I mean, it's all in the wrist action. I can show you. It's all right. Mum will teach me. <laughs> you see, what you must do is you have to... She said you cheat. What? You throw hard. Real hard. One skip in the middle, and then it hits the other bank. That's just force, Mum says. Strength. She'll show me how to do it without. Find a stone, the right stone, so it fits just so. She blows on it, and she whispers to it, and she kisses it, and then off it skips. Five, six, seven sometimes, all blammy and playful-like, until it gets to the other side where it lays down and rests. Doesn't need strength, she says. Just sweetness. Mm, I think there may be a little more to it than that. She and... said you'd say that. <laughs> Did she? Well, as we agreed, she is a very wise woman, your mother. Why can't I understand Latin now? Well, you have to learn. How come I can understand English then? I never learned that. <sighs> well, you did. But you didn't know. You're still learning, aren't you? Immense. Big, huge, enormous. Enormous. You see? But why are there two languages? It would be better if there was just one. Well, there are lots. Lots? More than two? <laughs> lots and lots and lots. But that's silly. Who knows them all? I used to think... Yes? That if I learned, knew what you knew, it would all make sense. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? I kept no secrets from you. I, I showed you... All the secrets? Locked in their language vaults? Here's the key, Joan. But it has unlocked nothing. It shut you in here. And me with you. <laughs> and tomorrow I shall be free. I don't want to, to, to go without, without thinking that there is an, an understanding between us. Understanding. Lessons. Teaching. All the time. And I know nothing less than a little girl scrubbling in the earth. Mam was right. You cheat. One throw and it's over. And I'm left on the other side. Little steps. Small paces, tiny jumps. They'll get you over. They will put all your words to the flame. Everything that has meaning to me. But the fire remains mute. And what shall I say then? That will not do. Not at all. I, I have a better one somewhere. I, I, I'm, I'm sure. Let, let's see. Um, no. Ah, I know I've seen it. This side of the table. Why will you not let me help you? Joan, ah. Uh, uh, you startled me. How did you... The door is unlocked. Again, father. Oh. Ah, uh, I was... The key's in the door, just not locked. Right. Well then, uh, Joan, you really shouldn't be in here. Why you... will you not let me? You must not. I can! No, I didn't say you could not. I said you must not. All those lessons... They're not wasted. But if you won't let me... This is my task. My task. In every sense. You know what can happen. I am prepared. Well, I'm not. Not for that. <laughs> Possibly not even for myself, but for you. Never. You nobly take all the risk upon yourself. Then what was it all for? All the lessons, all the reading, all the lectures? Was that just to show me how clever you were? 
how much more you knew. How Joan. Joan. Why tempt me? Tempt? Isn't that what the serpent does? Here it is, Joan. All the knowledge in the world. No. No. Is that how you see it? Why show me the other side if you intended to deny me the bridge? You see, I've been thinking... Patently. This is their argument, isn't it? The church. Do not eat the fruit of that tree. That is entirely... Because when we do, when you do... And you know, they're right. Who? No. Joan... Because when I thought the world spoke with one voice and priests just sang weird songs, I was happy, wasn't I? But it doesn't, and they don't. You have a right to hear the word of God in your own language. As translated by you. It is my task. Why not mine, then? Why can't I translate it for myself? Am I not clever enough? You know that's not... Or too not... clever? Cleverer than you? <laughs> I see. I see. Well, I hope you are cleverer than me. I think you are. Yes, I do. I have taught you very little. Nothing, maybe. Only how to express what you already knew and, and, and to seek out that which you didn't. But I don't want my lessons, however much or little they contained, to end my daughter's life. Did Mam help? Did she? Did she see any of this? That is... That was different. She... She wished... She, she wanted to see the words... Before... She said it would comfort her to take them with her, to, to have heard them, read them, the actual words. What language does St. Peter speak at the gates as he stands there letting you in? Or not? What language? Joan, I don't know. <sighs> The language of deeds, perhaps. Whatever is in your heart, he knows, he understands. Then what's it all for? All this, people are dying, Father. If at the end it's all one. That's not and... what... And? The church says... The bishop says, doesn't he, that this is heresy. And that in showing ma'am... In letting her. They say she burns in hell. That is a damned lie and you know it. That's exactly what they want. Is it? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Absolutely, solidly. On on my life, on my on my soul, on her soul. Sure. Joan. Joan. It's cruel. Cruel that your mother died? Yes, it is. All of it. All of this. Do they give you comfort? What? The words. These words. Our words. Do they comfort you? Yes. They do. Then show me. No. Not now. Not the workings. When it's done and printed and they have no choice but to accept it, then I'll show you. I'll give you the finest edition. I want to see it now. Before everyone else. That's pride, Joan. Isn't it? And what you are doing is not? I used to think you were so much cleverer than me. I never was. No. I wanted to... I wanted to show you the possibilities. I, 
I wanted to show you that you need not be, be constrained, shackled, enslaved. And I have received my manumission. <sighs> this is not the end. It is for me. I would have thought... You that... would be wrong, father. Where shall I be that is not here? Come with me. Jo. Anywhere where the smoke will not reek in our clothes. Jo. Where the hearth is banked by the night at curfew and will warm again in the morning. Jo. Where fire is a friend and forgiving. It never is. It is not in the nature of flame to relent. And I am unquenchable. Bum. Bum. Looking for something to add to the sunshine this summer? Well, join the Theatophonic Patreon, and from just £2 a month, you can get ad free episodes, blooper reels, QA sessions, merch, and more. Head to patreon.com forward slash theatophonic to find out more. Bum. Bum. One after another, they are taking us. You must stop. Stop! You know I cannot. I know you will not. We must prepare. I must prepare you. Is that not what you have been doing all these years? It's as if... As if what, Jo? You looked forward to this moment. Father? Do you understand? I thought I did. For a long time I believed that. Now? I don't want to. Not wanting to is not the same as... I know. I know that. There is a place in me that understands. No. More than that. That wants to join in. Be part of this. I've always wanted to... Contribute. The scrolls, the books, the ink, the words, the great secret vocabulary of it all whispered at night by the light of small candles. I listened. I crept. I peeked. I looked. I wanted to hold the pen that wrote the words that would be read by everyone, that would change them, their lives, the way they thought, dreamed, slept, died. It's so enticing, alluring, beguiling. I knew. I sort of knew that you were there, sometimes. I would catch the breath of your curiosity, the, the perfume of it behind a door in the hallway. Part of me wanted to invite you in fully, completely, but, but there was always the fear. They took Thomas Bernard last week. I know. Everyone knows. Richard Saunders, Thomas Holmes, James Morden. They've all sat in our house. My name is in there, in, in that cell with them. Yes. I think they will come for me soon. And you must be prepared. I've heard that they... They did. They do. They use whatever methods they like. I must expect... No! You can abjure. They allow it. I shall not. Others have. I shall not. But you must. Me. I must tutor you in this. Me. You shall tutor me in abjuring. And what are your qualifications for this lesson? You who selfishly wishes martyrdom on himself. This isn't about me. Martyrdom is selfish. Surely you for can't- For us that will be left. For the world that might benefit from your learning. Your laughter, your smiles, and even your stubbornness. The grass will grow without you, the trees will bloom, but will I? I shall follow you in this. No, that isn't, mustn't be your way. The path is reserved for you, fenced off from others. Isn't that what you are demonstrating against? Containment of knowledge, apprehension, awareness. I seek to, to enlighten, widen, make large. By making my world smaller. Your world is not the world, Joan. It is to me. And you are its centre. If you care for me at all... That is not fair. If you care for me at all, you will obey me in this. My death is mine. Don't 
look like that. It is... No, say nothing. It, it is mine and mine alone. I, I am sorry, truly, for the pain it must cause you, but it is mine. The only thing that is truly private and unreachable. They will inflict, they will beat, and... But no, <laughs> hear me. They will use every syllable of the glossary of pain and they will make you listen. And they may even make you carry my books and papers to the fire. They have done that and you shall carry them and you shall deny me with my blessing for you shall live and one day your children shall live and their children and that part of me that is you and them shall flourish and learn and read and write whatever they like. And in 20 years, I shall be dead anyway, but, but, but this, this will live forever. I cannot deny you. It is my wish, my entreaty, my, my command. If, when they take me, they will question you too. I have to know that you will not endanger yourself. I have to to know that you will follow me in life, not pursue me into death. Is not my death my own then? All your life I have tried to teach you reason, logic, honesty, and, 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 and now I am asking you to, to cast them out. That flies in the face of everything, I know that. You who are so, so bright. You can argue and debate, you can, you can use my own speech against me, and you can win any dispute and discussion with me because you are so quick-witted and, and clever and educated. But in your victory, I would lose everything and all my doing will be undone. All my lessons untaught, and you would make me wish that you were the most ignorant, the, the least able, the most, the most silent. Do you understand this? Will you obey me on this? I want you to live, Joan. I have no strong wish to die. Good. Then but I want to live as my father's daughter. Then live. But that is my most earnest wish. And your lips will carry his words, and your hands his writing, beyond the smoke and into the clarity beyond. All your words. Our words. It's our language, for God's sake! That's... That's what it's all about. Hush now, let us prepare. The bishop is conducting this personally. You will be called before him. Beware his friendliness. Beware his guile. He will try to trick you by smoothness and sleight of tongue. Remember how they got Robert Marsden? He prayed in English. I've never told you to hide your education. Always said to be proud of your learning. But you mustn't be clever with him. Smart women, sharp women, are, are outside of his understanding. The, the more intelligent he thinks you are, the more wrong he will see in you. Suspicion sits in every household. This translation has occurred. Master, Mistress, servants, children. All are touched by this business. No one is immune, exempt, excused. That is why you, Joan, are here to be examined. Now, understand that as yet you are not... That is to say, this is just a preliminary talk. Guidance. To show you the way, if you have. Straight. Think of me as your spiritual advisor. A father, even. My lord. Do you wish to sit? You may. Of course, you may. Thank you, my lord. May I see my father? 
possibly, in time. That may be useful. Useful? <laughs> but first... In uh, what way? Useful. But first, we must examine to the extent of your knowledge, awareness, understanding of this heresy. Your father has confessed freely, fully, and without resort to question. But this you already know. Yes, I knew that he had confessed. Quite. It is a matter of record. So this business he has carried out in his workplace, study, bureau, a closed room in his, your house. It is not a room I was ever allowed in. So it has been alleged. Yes. That means that your father has told us this, but it has not yet been established as fact. Now, uh, were you ever in that room? I was not allowed. Well, being not allowed to do something and not doing it are not always the same thing, are they? No. No. No, they are not the same thing? Or no, you were never in the room? They are not the same thing. Ah, the truth, child. Were you ever in that room? I, I was in the room. So your My father, father was... left the door unlocked once, ah, and I... Ah, the inevitable, inescapable, inexorable inquisitiveness of the female. What did you see? What did you see? Papers. Lots of scrolls. B books. Yes. I know that room. Do you? Well, I have been in many such rooms. And what was on them? My lord? The papers. The scrolls. Well, you can read. My lord. You can I... read? Yes or no? Yes, my lord. Yes, well, that in itself is highly inappropriate. I can see no reason. Well, uh, that's another... Uh, very well. <laughs> and you learn from... My father. Your father, yes. I see a pattern emerges. Rebellion, disdain for the natural order. <laughs> you are to be married, I believe. My lord? Married. Yes, my lord, I am betrothed. And does he know? This prospective husband? No. That you can read? Why, yes, of course. And he is comfortable with this? Yes. Interesting. Well, I must talk to him. He hasn't... He is in... No I way. shall talk to him. He is a good man, my lord. A good man. Well, then I shall enjoy talking to him. <laughs> uh, now, uh, these papers. Papers? In your father's study. Yes. What was written on them? I did not... I could not see. Did not? Could not? They were rolled up. Books shut. You enter the study... Expressly against your father's word, you, you see manuscripts, a parchment, vellum, secrets. <laughs> your curiosity, your disobedience has carried you this far and no further. One step, one more step towards the table, towards revelation. revelation. The uncovering of something hidden. Kept away from your eyes for so long, locked in this room to which you have had no entry. Why? Why is that? Well, you reach out your hand. The parchment is, is soft, enticing. The, the scrolls are not bound, sealed. You could just... Surely you could. <laughs> what lies within... You must know the, the knowledge you have been, been given, uh, reading, now, now it comes, babbling, seething. What, what 
is it for someone like you if not to gratify that base inquisitive requirement? No. And that is all this is. This whole translation business. Ignoble, sordid, idle curiosity. The gossip of villagers peering into the rooms of the manor house, attempting to see if the Lord is like them. He is not. You are not like us at all. You have no rights to know to read. Read! What good will reading do you? What could you possibly need to know that I cannot tell you? If this is not stopped here, now, there will be no end to it. No one and nothing will be spared from the prying of the crowd. Not you, not me, the church, the king himself. All subject to the inquisition of the semi-literate. No, there is no place in the world for self-education, for John's as good as his master, no place at all. So, what was in the papers? I never opened them. This is the truth. Say the Lord's Prayer. Sir? Now, quickly, the Lord's Prayer. Pater Noster, qui es in caelis, sanctificator nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, Fiat voluntas tua secat in caelo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimita nobis debita nostra secat et nos dimitimos debitoribus nostres. Et, et ne nos inducas in tensionem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Very well. I find no heresy in you. Marriage and childbirth will, I hope, curtail some of the excess that I do, however, detect. This is mainly the result of your father's poor example and upbringing. You should have remarried when your mother died. I shall speak to your prospective husband and tell him that your reading is not to be encouraged further. My lord. You may see your father, Joan. Beg him to abjure. It is not too late. He may yet be saved, redeemed, delivered. That is my most earnest wish. Then we agree. Because if he does not abjure, I he... Know. He will be cast into the fire along with his papers, his books, his translation. And that is fitting, is it not? For a heretic... Joan? He is my father. The church is your father. The king is your father. It is fitting. Is it not? Yes. Fitting. Appropriate. Apt. Very well. Go to him then. Father? Father? Not here. Let's see then. Lord, into thy arms I... What have you written here? Direct, convey, render... No. No, that won't do at all. Let me see, let me see. Requite, relinquish, release... No, that doesn't quite... Let me look at... Where's the original Greek? Hmm. No, Father, that's not quite it, is it? I would put it another way. I would choose... F Father! Yes! That's it! And as for arms, hands is more... And commend. <sighs> Much better. Father... Into thy hands I commend my spirit. <sighs> there. <clears throat> Dawn. I've always loved this time of day. 
So have I. You must go on loving it. It is not theirs to take. Neither are you. Yet they take. Your mother will be stirring. Getting things ready. <laughs> will she? I'm sure. Certain. Positive. Yes. I wish I was. You will be. What if it's all just words? It's not. The syllable's a breath, but... The life... The life, Joan, will never be constrained by mere language. Just ended. All lives end, Joan. Your mother Don't. Should... Not now. You are my beloved daughter, in whom I am well pleased. Father. What you must do today, do with love. Father. And with forgiveness to all. When I bend to set the torch to sear my heart, to scream my unbending silence, as the flames creep maggoty up the wood, my eyes will be upon the ground. My lips will not move, because words caused this. Formed in the throat of this valley, the ordinary speech of lane and field, shared by plowman, leavened by baker, fixed by scrivener. These are yours. You may take them with you, you may hold them, weigh them in your mouth, feel their strength and bitterness as the nouns coil and writhe, bound hand and phrase by imperatives from men whose words they should be. And are, yet are not. Yours, all yours. And lo, the word was flimsy and burnt with speed, faster than the agony of flesh can melt. Every black letter branded into my skin. When paper is the fuel, the blaze still fades and shadows cast their long sentence from the hill. Father, into, into thy hands I commend my spirit. You have been listening to The Sentence, written by Martin Lytton, directed by Emmeline Brayfield, with Jeannie Dickinson as Joan, and Elliot Borneman as John and the Bishop, produced by Cat on a Piano Productions. For a full list of the music in this production, please see the show notes. The Theatophonic theme tune was composed by Jackson Pentland, performed by Jackson Pentland, Molly Fife Taylor, and Emmeline Brayfield. For more information about the Theatophonic podcast, go to catonapiano.uk forward slash theatophonic, tweet or Instagram us at theatophonic, or visit our Facebook page. If you enjoy Theatophonic and would like to get more content, please consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com forward slash theatophonic. Please don't forget to rate and review. Thank you for listening. Bye.